because here's here's what the world wealth looks like today. About 900 trillion um, in total global wealth, 400 trillion in debt. It, the 400 trillion is already insolvent. Um, it would take 12,873,000 years to pay back that debt. It's already completely insolvent. Yet people play, every person playing within that game is saying, I'm going to get trapped in the system and all my labor and capital is going to get captured as this gets more and more insolvent because it's already insolvent. Guys, now is the time you should be focusing on getting your best energy and inputs, selling whatever it is possible that you can right here, right now, and getting yourself up to one Bitcoin minimum. I hope you guys are enjoying every single moment of this beautiful energy and this beautiful realm in crypto. Welcome back to the Crypto Bliss channel. I'm Kiara DeCast. Thank you for being here with me today once again on the video. Um, for those, shout out to you. I did a Solana meme coin here for you guys, plus Solana, plus a few things in that video. You may want to go check that video out. I'll leave it pinned in the card above for you. You guys can see that this meme coin that I've put here for you guys over there, thousand X, thousand X potential. Although I think that's more like a hundred X from where it is now, but that's a thousand X easily guys. Do a comparison, see what you think. But guys, I am continuously, it's meme season. Meme season is just getting started. And you know what? The most beautiful thing about all of this is that right now, meme season, okay, is showing us that it is the potential and the start of everybody coming through from retail. However, in saying that, we do have, of course, people that are in crypto every single day, like yourself and myself. If you are, make some noise for the channel because we are the very reason right now that these coins are currently pumping as they are, plus some institutional adoption happening with Bitcoin and Ethereum, ETF spots being launched. So things are on the go. And this is the most beautiful thing about this entire space here right now, guys, is that people that are in the space early like us, we will be reaping rewards, life-changing rewards in this space. Now, today, the Morales money bubbles are smashing on these meme coins, guys. Now, this video isn't about meme coins, but I am just sharing with you what is going on in the space right now. And meme coins are, of course, part of the indicators of these videos. Um, so I'm going to show you a few videos throughout that are relating to why it is that you should not even think twice without this being financial advice, of course, that crypto is currently being adopted at an extraordinarily fast rate right now. Um, you can see even meme coins like Wolf and SHIB are pumping, guys. And to be very honest with you, I actually sold a portion of my SHIB to buy more Wolf which as you can see is actually outperforming SHIB, but I still hold both. Plus I took some and I went and bought another meme coin, um, which I will continue to share with you guys about a little bit later. But guys, you can see right now that we're pumping. Don't miss out on the opportunity here. Today, the cryptocurrency market cap is sitting at $2.71 trillion, 0.7% change upwards in the last 24 hours. Not bad. Um, you know, we're trading volumes sub $100 billion currently, which is at about $93 billion. And you can see meme coins are pumping. I actually mentioned Solama in my video there. If you didn't watch it, guys, you're missing out on the bomb, 60% bomb. Then you skim some profits. I mean, you skim some profits off the top and you leave some and you let it carry on because meme season is just getting started, you beautiful souls. Okay. Skim some profits off there, take it and put it into others. Okay, now let's move along, guys. Bitcoin is sitting sub 68K, it's 67,800. Ethereum is 3,800. Uh, the Tether market cap is down ever so slightly. BNB is a sub 600. Solana, sub 170. And I'd like to go and share something with you now. So Shiba Inu is at like a $16.5 billion market cap, okay? Dogecoin at a $24 billion market cap, meme coins just by the way. Um, let's go and have a look at Pepe. So I want to go and share with you actually, I have been mentioning Pepe to you guys for some time now. 
But doing some recent research and seeing some of the Pepe team and the original Pepe coin team, okay, which I will make a video about for you guys because I like to disclaim to you when it is that I am selling um, and when it is that I am taking profits on certain coins. So uh, I took some profits yesterday and ironically over the last 24 hours it's dropped 6%, right? But I've taken profits because I was also up on my trade. You take some profits, guys, and you get out. I still hold a little bag of Pepe. However, I sold the majority of my bag to go and convert my Pepe, okay, which is not the original. And the original is starting to gain some serious beast mode traction. And this is one of the meme coins that we actually have to be very conscious about right now. Because in the meme coin space, we are seeing crazy, crazy pumps. I know, there you go. All right. So and I'll even add it to my list here for us right now into my, um, let's go. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's memes? Where's memes? Memes. There you go. Memes. All right. There you go. So it's now in my memes. And this is only at a $688 million market cap, guys. Um, you know, I bought this yesterday. I'm up 10% on my trade already. And in the last seven days, this thing's up 20%. So I missed the 10%, but I got in at the right time. Okay. And I hope you guys are punching my schedule because this is where I actually got in. Because you can see there is the down sloping trend getting ready to break up. It tested that resistance, the top sloping resistance, bounced off there, created a lower high. Bam! Easy money, guys. If you're following my Crypto Bliss channel, you would be making money with me, and you can use my Bybit link down below. Get yourself up to thirty thousand dollar deposit bonus, and my Bitflex link down below. Get yourself up to eighty-eight thousand eight hundred and eighty-eight dollars bonus, guys. Together, that's one hundred twenty-eight thousand eight hundred eighty-eight dollars juicy bonuses. Woo! Well. Who's making money with me? If you're making money with me on my channel, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, you can see here that my uh, Bitcoin trade is still 2,500%, my Ethereum 260%, my Gala 11%, my Casper 50%, and my Say 12%. Guys, I'm chill. I'm hanging on here. And I might actually enter into a couple more trades. And like I've been promising you guys, I will add to my Bitcoin and my Ethereum position, okay, to pull this right up and I'll probably increase the leverage on Ethereum. I'm going to do that within the next few days with you, possibly sometime over on my live stream uh, next Monday, but I have to keep an eye on the charts, guys, because this is the thing. Right now, it is a daily keep an eye out on the charts because especially if you're in crypto, because right now is giving you the last opportunity to buy at these levels. And I say that because of the conviction that I have to share with you coming right up. But let's finish off on the meme coins stuff very quickly, because since I did my meme coin video uh, for you guys down here one month ago, okay, and I said, these shit coins will make you generational wealth. And if you guys haven't been subscribing, I spoke about all of them. Look at all of them. Okay, look at all of those meme coins over there. All right. Now, I just showed you the Morales money bubbles that they're all pumping. But if we go ahead and we have a look at the market cap now, in that video, the market cap was sitting at $38 billion. We're now up to $71 billion. We're nearly up double already. And we're not even getting started. So look at all of the crazy pumps that keeps coming. Okay, this MAGA, lots of people are looking at. I haven't got any of MAGA. Um, you know, honestly, it's a great coin. Um, but yeah, just I've selected a few of my own that I prefer, that I've preferred. Okay, but although Trump is doing crazy stuff for crypto right now, as you all know, and if you have been subscribed to my channel, you guys will be seeing all of that in all of these videos. So let's go carry on here. So 
Shiba Inu. See, Dogecoin is the only one that's down, really, guys, at the moment. Shiba Inu, 8.5%. Pepe, 16%. Dog with a hat, 37% up. Floki, 25% up. Bonk, 31% up. Book of Memes, 17% up. Guys, Brett, 60% up. And that's why I have the Brett chart out for you guys right here, right now on this channel. And if you are loving the alpha content, you guys know what to do because check this out. We are getting the signal. And if you guys should have bought down here. I mean, you really should have bought down here. Um, going back on the daily time frame, look at where it told you to buy. Look at where the buy signal told us to buy. Touchdown, 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 triple bottom. Guys, look what you would be up already when I told you to buy my video. 170% up on your money. And we're only just but really getting to some sort of just teeny tiny little bit of a resistance level here right now. Let's put this resistance here because that's all it has to break through. Oh, okay. So right now, cool, I'm happy you at resistance, no problem. Let's have a little bit of fun at resistance with this, right? So you could either just, or you could, duck, 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 duck. Uh, sorry, that's a little bit too far, uh, because your ribbons would be starting to essentially do this, okay? So it could kind of pull back to that, find some support, and then, bam, guys. I think you are seeing what it is that I'm saying. Even from the current position, if you had to buy some bread now, okay, although it's up 60%, you still have like a 453% chance to this previous all-time high. But, <laughs> bread's just getting started. And the crypto space is just getting started. And I think we're going to see a lot higher pumps than all of that right now. And that's why I think we're going to see, actually, I believe that we could possibly see a trillion dollar um, meme coin market cap this cycle. If you guys think I'm crazy, make some noise. If you think I'm for real, make some noise and comment down below if you believe that some of the alpha that I've been sharing with you, because if you watch this video, I showed you that altcoins, ha uh, sorry, meme coins have been the leading gainers because of community and have gained 1,000, nearly 1,500% through this pump that we have seen on the Bitcoin chart over the last year or so. So meme coins are the leader. They've outperformed Bitcoin. They've outperformed Ethereum. They've outperformed everything. Okay. So you guys can see we're in a wild, wild, wild time here. Like this is just chilling right now. No problem. Let it just chill right now. Okay. Cool. We could get another pullback. Okay. Whoop to do. Then like just accumulate some more. Just take some profits right now and accumulate some more. If that's what you believe is about to unfold. So currently you can see that we are in and out of money. Uh, price thanks to ali charts for this uh, price you can see here the current price at seventy thousand one hundred and fourteen dollars and thirty seven cents um you know takes us towards people in the money 3.26 million btc is in the money which is about 89 percent and about 10 you know, 11 percent is uh kind of out of the money so at the money is about 0 0.4 percent and basically, guys, you can see that right now, the min price, okay, is about 70,180. Uh, 70, we can see here that most of us are actually in money. So why would we not continue to take the money and hold the money? Now, I'd like to go and share and show you a crazy video, okay? Before I show you another awesome video, this is from the Bitcoin historian and an analyst predicts Bitcoin will hit 500K and be the world's reserve currency at $100, which was 11 years ago. 
3000 BTC and you're a millionaire. Let's go and see what he has to say. I'm going to make Bitcoin big and boring so that the majority can start accepting it. So that's why I think we are right there. We have a long way to go in the growth of Bitcoin. And let's now take a look at some possible future valuations. <clears throat> Global hedge funds, for example, they have around $2.3 million trillion, excuse me, under management, uh, a part of which is cash. So we can imagine they might diversify just 1% into Bitcoin. Should that happen, according to my calculations, the Bitcoin price should rise to over $1,000 for one Bitcoin. Uh, Argentina, there's about $50 billion worth of um, paper money circulating, and I do mean dollars, so greenbacks circulating in Argentina. Should the Argentines one day decide, or maybe over time decide, to uh, switch that into Bitcoin, Bitcoin prices will rise to, rise to over $2,000 per Bitcoin. Gold bugs, gold is money, but Bitcoin is money too, and it has some interesting characteristics. So maybe in the future, um, people that own gold today might want to divest just 1% into Bitcoin, in which case we can see prices rise to over $3,500 for a Bitcoin. <laughs> and then if we've arrived there, I mean, why wouldn't it just keep continuing? I don't see why not, because the more people get involved, the stronger the network becomes, the more entrepreneurs that are there to make things very easy so that even grandmothers can start using it, etc. So let's um, continue our possible projections. We know that the global shadow economy, for example, has a size of around $15 trillion. This is uh, 2012. If we assume that the volume of Bitcoin today would rise to something equal to that of the shadow economy, so basically people would, the black market would become a, a Bitcoin-based or a cryptocurrency-based black market. And uh, if I assume then that the Bitcoin price would rise equally so, which we can talk about whether that's a good idea, then Bitcoin prices would rise to around $160,000 for a Bitcoin. <clears throat> Should Bitcoin become, actually become the new gold? People talk about Bitcoin like gold 2.0, the new gold. Um, they actually use that phrase quite uh, loosely these days. If, if this really is the case, we know that there's around 155,000 tons of above ground gold. These are the most conservative estimates I could find, the James Turk estimates. <clears throat> and uh, multiply that with the gold price. Total valuation is around $7.2 trillion. Uh, so if Bitcoin really does become the new gold, one Bitcoin should be worth around $340,000. I mean, imagine the implication. You own three Bitcoins today, and that makes you a millionaire tomorrow? You own 3,000 Bitcoins and you're on your way to become a billionaire? <laughs> I mean, so you can see the kind of uh, risk-reward ratio we are talking about. <clears throat> and then finally, I mean, you know, Bitcoin is the new goal. The black market is using Bitcoin. Why wouldn't Bitcoin become the new world reserve currency? <laughs> and then based on, again, the most conservative numbers I could find, uh, what, I, what I come up with is a Bitcoin price a little over uh, half a million dollars for one Bitcoin. So very exciting indeed. <laughs> um, again, that's why I think the risk-reward ratio of Bitcoin is extraordinary. Everybody should own just a few Bitcoins, even if it's just a tiny percent. So if you guys thought what if... So if you guys thought this video was insane, wait till you see what it is that I'm about to show you, which is an updated version of this video, because today... We're not sitting at a $7 trillion market cap on gold. We're actually sitting at a just about a $16 trillion market cap on gold. Now, with that being said, we have a fundamental um, concept that is ever unfolding with the addition of what the Fed just continues to do by printing money into existence, into the system. So the effect is compounding and multiplying continuously and inevitably forever and ever. And that's just in dollars. And like I've always said to you on my channel, that the debasement of all of these assets in the world, or sorry, the debasement of the dollar from all of these assets in the world is that the dollar is now going up and up and up versus the same asset. So in other words, this same cell phone, whatever, used to cost $1,000 and now, in a few years' time, the same cell phone costs $2,000, but it's still the same cell phone, okay? Do you see what's going on there? And that prices are starting to exponentially increase against the same asset, making living unaffordable. And I show you this on my channel. So 
I really hope that you guys are subscribed to my channel because now the video that you are about to watch is going to blow your mind out of the water. But it's very hard to imagine things getting exponentially cheaper. So could you could you talk a little bit about that? For sure, and that's why uh, that's why I think this this one in particular. Um, it, what, you know what you said. I've I've read your book. I've uh, talked to you many times. We're friends, and and I still the penny hasn't totally dropped. I remember being on uh, 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 Peter McCormick's show, and uh, I think for the fourth time and talked for years and when the penny finally dropped uh for him and 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 so here's uh but it just shows you how much every single time somebody prices bitcoin in their us dollars and their token they haven't they it tells you they don't get it every time they say bitcoin is going up it tells you they they don't get it because here's here's what the world wealth looks like today about 900 trillion um, in total global wealth, 400 trillion in debt. It, the 400 trillion is already insolvent. Um, it would take 12,873,000 years to pay back that debt. It's already completely insolvent. Yet people play, every person playing within that game is saying, I'm going to get trapped in the system and all my labor and capital is going to get captured as this gets more and more insolvent because it's already insolvent. And so they're measuring from that system. So today, if you did 900 trillion divided by 21 million, or you could do it divided by whatever you want for lost coins, you would get the implied value of each Bitcoin today if it stays decentralized and secure. That's the, that is the value based on today's purchasing power of, of, of Bitcoin. But there's two things that if you're measuring through that system, you're going to get really confused about. In five years, that 900 trillion will not be 900 trillion. It'll be something like two quadrillion. So it'll more than double in the next five years, I suspect, because it has to, because of the amount of monetary easing to be able to keep that system solvent, especially with how fast technology is moving the other way, um, will have to massively... Um, increase the amount of money supply massively. So let's use two quadrillion. At that time, so five years from now, then that 46 million per Bitcoin today would turn into 92, uh, 92 million per Bitcoin tomorrow. And it hasn't gone up. Okay, that's the point. The other lever that's happening at the exact same time, which is so hard to measure, is the, te the, the productivity in the market is moving faster and faster and faster. AI and robotics will merge. AI and robotics will create food for free. Energy prices will come to almost free. All of these things, meaning in today's dollar, the dollar, the per purchasing power of to today's dollar will get exponentially more valuable. So with, with, with that many levers kind of happening at the same time, to try to measure this through the debasing currency, I, I, it, it, it's, it, it is one of them, and I don't want to say pet peeves because I know people do it, but when everybody takes their Bitcoin to the piece of paper, the debasing currency, to measure the wealth and the value of the Bitcoin, they're missing the point. And, 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 and when... The free market, just keep on, say it over and over, go, say it 10 times before you go to sleep. The free market, the natural state of the free market is deflation. Keep saying it, keep saying it, keep saying it. What is the only thing that can measure the free market? The only thing that doesn't have counterparty risk to the existing system. It's Bitcoin. Now, that will measure the free market forever, as long as it stays decentralized and secure. And that's what's happening. Well, much appreciations to that. And as you can see here, exponentiality is just insane. So what I'm going to do for you guys right here, right now, is I'm going to share with you and I'm going to show you what he's referring to when he says $900 trillion. So that's uh, 9 billion, 90 billion, 900 um, billion. That's 9 trillion. Okay. 90 trillion, 900 trillion, like he's talking about, divided by 
I'm just going to divide it by all of the Bitcoin, 21 million. I'm going to do the sum for you. A simple 21 million. Are you prepared to see this? This price? Well, I don't care if you are or if you're not, because I'm going to show you anyways. Because that would take us to a 42.8 million dollar Bitcoin. I have been speaking on my channel, and I will leave those videos pinned in the cards above for you, about a $10 million Bitcoin coming soon, okay? Sooner than you think. Now, if you didn't see that, and if you didn't watch this video, go watch it again, because the sums are just showing themselves. Now, let's move on to the next um, uh, Simply Bitcoin chart here that I want to share with you, because BlackRock spot ETF IBIT with a huge $100 million buy today. Overtakes GBTC to become the largest spot Bitcoin ETF in the world. IBIT now holds over 288,000 Bitcoin. Let's have a look at this chart, guys. Have a look at that chart. Interesting that GBTC has been selling. And guess what? BlackRock has been accumulating all of that Bitcoin that's coming out. So who knows what the cahoots was between the two here, but BlackRock is now officially overtaking um, GBTC. So massive, massive news. Now, let's go and have a look at the last little video that I want to share with you before I show you my um, one or two charts and uh, finish off the video here for you guys. So. Well, if you like that, shout out to APSK32 over here on Twitter. Uh, follow him. Um, he has actually quite a few cool videos like that. Um, but as you can see, the power law time contours over time, just in relation to all the videos that I've shared with you, Bitcoin continues to go up. No matter what you think, what you believe, every single time after all the halvings, halving up, halving up, halving, guys, it's inevitable that we go up. I have showed you this. We are looking absolutely juicy. And now not only that, our beautiful um, UT bots indicator actually told us to buy last week um, at the moment. And currently we're getting ready to literally make a serious, serious move to the upside, getting ready to break through this inevitable, very silly resistance over there right now. I'm going to delete that on this chart and I'll put it here on this chart for us. Because uh, I actually did do it, but let's readjust it now. Okay, so there you go. There's Bitcoin right now. Guys, Bitcoin's going. It's going long, whether you like it or not. Now, something very interesting that I want to share with you, because the Bitcoin dominance actually had a sell indicator on our UT bots. Naturally so, right? Because, um, yeah, so there you go. Sell, I mean, doesn't mean that we're going to go down. But yeah, right now, we could essentially come down to the bottom of the ribbon if we break if we go down to the bottom of the ribbon, kind of retest this zone, even this zone, and fail, we will continue to go down. That means Bitcoin dominance is kind of going to be done for the season, which means that altcoins and Ethereum with a strong buy signal, strong MACD presence, strong PMO presence, and all the ribbon, everything is indicating to us to buy. So if you're not buying, I don't know what you're doing here. What are you doing here on my channel? Like if you aren't buying crypto, then like leave the channel. You don't need like you don't need me. Um, I'm showing people that are interested in making money, life changing money in the season. 
And I've been showing you that the total three hasn't even had its buy signal yet, but we were in it from here when it had its original buy signal. Here it told us to take some profits. Why would you not take some profits and put them back in into other coins that are the next narrative in the cycle? You guys can see what it is that I'm saying. We have, however, had the um, buy signal because we've bounced off of the ribbon here. Guess what happens when we bounce off the ribbon? We punch up. It does tell us to sell, to take profits along the way. Naturally so. And guess what? I have no doubt it will eventually do the same right here. We're going to break up here, kind of retest this, bounce up here. And it's going to tell us to sell just like it did over there. Because naturally so, it would need a pullback to support of proper breakout to break out, guys. It doesn't go up in a straight line. And this is what, in fact, I'm going to leave all of that for us here right now. So that we can see what it is that I've been speaking about on the channel consistently looking back, connecting the dots. So, if you guys have enjoyed being here with me, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I truly appreciate you being part of my community. Remember to sign up once again, as I said. Beautiful, beautiful profits here. Simple. We'll see you on the next one. Be blessed, beautiful souls. Take care and have a wonderful day.